All right, we're just learning 32 members of Congress are firing off a letter demanding that the House Homeland Security Committee hold a hearing on pat-downs. They say their constituents are feeling angered, apprehensive, and justifiably mistrustful. In order to get into the hearing, though, they all have to be strip-searched. No, I don't know if that's the case. But Bo Deedle joins me right now. But what do you make of all this? You know, let's remember, after 9-11... There were security guards. There's about 65,000 TSA agents. Majority of them were security guards making $10 an hour. Now they're TSA. These are not professionals. That's the first problem. Well, they're just following orders. Well, to they're be yeah, fair but, to them. but who's who? Who gives them the right to touch my son's private parts? My other part of this whole thing. Why all of a sudden decision now? The underwear bomber was last December, almost one year ago. Yeah, what happened? Why and, did this get? Start happening. So. Well, there was some guy called Chertoff there, 175 million reasons why all of a sudden these machines that the Israelis didn't even want because they can't find powder. These machines are not the old, this is not the final answer. Chertoff well, is behind the company or one of the companies right, that makes and, these machines to see in your birthday suit. So. Right. Well, bottom line, I mean, you could skip that machine and go through conventional security devices in the past, and now if you don't, you go. Right. Why, why all the decision? What would you do? The decision now, 11 months later, also, if the shoe bomber and the uh, underwear bomber, where'd they come from? They came across the Atlantic. They weren't coming from my from Tampa, Florida, up to New York. My problem with this is, this is America. When you got little boys, nine years old, being patted down, groped, and you got little girls there, they may wait, maybe have gone through some sort of a sexual problem or been sexually abused by someone. Imagine the mindset of these kids being felt up by these people. But That's if you know, way. if you know, and I hear what you're saying, because I feel the same way as a dad and, and as a husband, but if you if you know that uh, some of these guys do hide nefarious stuff, you know. Okay. okay. That, that, that's the way you find it. Right, 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 Neil. Okay. Now you have this machine, all of a sudden they decide. Has any tests been done on these machines? How much radiation you're taking down these? You have women who are pregnant going through these so machines? So you would just profile. Profiling would be the best thing in the world and get more professional people there. Start profiling people because the person that's going to set that by, all right, is one going to get away? Is a plane going down? I don't think so. But my problem is why all of a sudden they decided after 11 months, let's start feeling people. Now, the next thing they come up, I saw aluminum underwear or something to hide yourself. Well, so, they wouldn't let that go. So how are we going to have aluminum underwear and you're going to put a bomb underneath the aluminum underwear? So I'm the just wondering with the aluminum underwear, that goes to the machine. Bottom, that just ignites or something. Bottom line and then a lot of problems. Neil, I wear an America flag. This is America. We have freedom. We have freedom to fly in our country. Why are we being picked? David Nealman was here, the former JetBlue guy, and that was behind this company that makes this biometric technology to sort of screen bad guys. And he says, one incident and none of us would mind this. Well, the bottom line is what he does is very good. It's like Disney World ahead of the line. We don't have to wait on the line for the ride. But you still have to go through. Have you it. ever waited on any line? For no, any you, pay, you pay a little extra. You get that extra pass right. for the line. But the real bottom line here is why all of a sudden? Now, what about the freedoms and the rights of Americans right now? That's why we love this country so much, to have freedom. I don't want... I don't care. You want to fill me up, fill me up. But I'm no, worried about kids. Me. I'm worried about little boys and little girls that have to go through this. People that are affected by it. You gotcha. wouldn't be affected if I felt you up. I wouldn't be affected if you felt me up. You're a man on a man. But imagine a little boy. Can we boy. stop there? Oh, okay. Just there. But, Neil, you want me to fill you no, up? No, no, I don't. Let me show you how it's done? No, I don't. I don't. Oh, I really okay. don't. We're going to take a quick break here uh, because I I'm getting nervous now.